Hello and a very warm welcome to a fresh episode of Property Matters. This is your weekly guide to all the best deals in the property space. Today we're looking at affordable housing in consultation with Anand Narayanan. He's a real estate consultant with Knight Frank and these are his top five picks from across the country. Tanya Basu brings us this report. <laughs> Work is back on construction sites and so is demand for new homes. With end users and investors staying away from the realty sector last year, business was a nightmare for developers. While 2009 was marred with project delays and low returns, 2010 is a different story. There is considerable demand across various property segments and most of the action comes from the affordable housing segment. The driving force behind this demand is the availability of jobs in major cities across the country. I, I would say that um, affordable housing five years back and today is growing at, at, an, at an average 30% CAGR okay? uh, in, terms of, uh, in terms of supply coming into that market. With the market growing at a steady rate, this may just be the right time to place your hard-earned money in the affordable housing segment. So we decided to get in Anand Narayanan from property consultants Knight Frank to give you a lowdown on what's hot and buzzing in the affordable segment. We asked Anand to rate the projects on these parameters, value for money, adjoining infrastructure, connectivity, track record of the developer and return on investment. Let's begin our top 5 affordable picks with Bangalore, the IT hub of the country. The city is witnessing a lot of realty action which is mainly due to an improvement in infrastructure in key localities. Patel Realty has come up with New Town, a 20-acre integrated township with 2,500 houses. This project benefits from the development of the Electronic City Elevated Expressway, which opened earlier this year. Connectivity has become um, uh, fantastic with Electronic City with the, with the new flyover coming in. And uh, this will be a great spot. The entire Electronic City has got umpteen number of job opportunities. At New Town, there is something for everyone. You get a studio apartment here for as low as 8.9 lakh rupees, while a three bedroom would cost you about 31 lakh rupees. The super area is between 360 to 1350 square feet. Amenities include round the clock security, 100% power backup, central plaza, jogging track, and more. The developers are promising a delivery by February 2012. Staying down south, we get across to Chennai. Integrated townships in the immediate outskirts of the city is what's buzzing here. Hirko's Hiranandani Palace Gardens has been designed as a community providing both residential and commercial properties. It has a total built area of over 30 million square feet which will be developed in phases. It is spearheaded by Hiranandani. They have, they have a project in, uh, in, in, in Chennai. Uh, again, that's something that uh, people could look at. It's about 3,000 uh, rupees, 3,000, 3,250 rupees per square feet. Hirko offers various options ranging from 1 to 5 bedrooms. The price ranges from 35 lakh rupees to 1 crore rupees. The super area for a typical 3 bedroom apartment here is 1858 square feet. Some of the amenities here are a retail center, children's play area, cafes and restaurants. Hirko has already started delivering houses to the buyers. Moving northwards to the national capital. Delhi is seeing a lot of realty action in the NCR region and Noida is a prime destination for developers. The 3C company which is focusing on sustainable and green housing is making significant strides here. This is a great project uh, that one should look at. Um, uh, 3C is a very very reputed builder. He, they have been typically uh, in, in the commercial space. They've, uh, they're known for the green buildings that, um, that they've been uh, pioneering in. Spread across 41 acres, the developers have 3,600 apartments on offer here. The starting price of an apartment here is about 30 lakh rupees. The super area is about 950 and goes up to about 1,000 square feet. Unique concepts with vertical landscaping, sensor lights, water conservation techniques among others will be put in here. Our last two picks come from the financial capital Mumbai. Now an affordable home here could cost you a lot more in this city. 
But keeping in mind factors such as standard of living, higher incomes and realty prices, Mumbai too has a few reasonable options. Anand's first pick here is a development by Naha Realty close to the northeastern suburb of Bavai. This is again for um, you know uh, junior level executives in 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 a corporate um, environment. Pe people typically earning about um, you know 10 lakhs of family income. Uh, these people have a very good opportunity right in the middle of the city. Spread across 125 acres, Nahar Amrit Shakti has 2,000 apartments to offer. Two and three bedroom apartments here are priced at 75 lakh rupees. The super area that you get for this ranges between 1,036 square feet and goes up to 1,545 square feet. The amenities include wooden flooring, video door phone, gymnasium and a clubhouse too. High land prices and absence of relevant policy provisions have also hindered growth of budget homes in Mumbai. But a number of builders are targeting areas where they are able to provide affordable homes to all. So Anand's final pick is the Lodha Casa Rio in Dombivili. These people are trying to create an entire township um, ecosystem in, in that project. So to that extent there will be availability of social infrastructure which will be much better. At Casa Rio, you have one, two and three bedroom apartments on offer. Prices start at 15 lakh rupees and go up to about 40 lakh rupees. And the super area ranges between 594 to 1098 square feet. Amenities include a clubhouse, hospital and school among other facilities. Affordable homes are a great way to break into the realty sector. So take your pick and start investing. If you're looking for value for money options, then these are the ones that you can consider. But if you have questions, don't forget you can always write in to our email ID, propertymatters at bloombergutv.com. All these stories are available on YouTube, so do revisit them and also log on to our website, bloombergutv.com. Right now, a very small breather here on the episode, but on the flip side, we'll talk about the luxury real estate space. Lots of new launches. Which are the ones that are right for you? We'll discuss it in just a bit. Stay tuned.